Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. Guiding Light here, and today I'm back. I'm sorry it's a little bit late here today on this video, but I was getting a little bit busy working on a couple other things. But, better late than never here today, we're going to hop right on into these predictions this week. So, for the past two weeks, Zer hasn't really brought us anything too great. And there has been a little bit of a drought between Zer and the content here in Destiny recently over the past couple of weeks. But, with the upcoming event of Trials of Osiris and the upcoming SRL and December update, I think that Zer and his inventory will be seeing a couple of advances here in the next couple of weeks. So, as of right now, there are still three Rise of Iron Exotics that we have not seen come to Zer's shop ever since the Rise of Iron has been released. So we still have the Astrocyte Verse, the Ophidian Astrodex, and the Dune Marchers that we are still waiting on, and hopefully within the next couple weeks here before Christmas, we will be seeing those exotic comes to their shop at some point or another. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into these predictions here for this week, and we're going to start things off with the Titans this week. So this time around, I think the Titans are going to be getting the, the Helm of Inmost Light. So what this helmet does is that it grants you Headstrong as well as Unstoppable when you're a Striker Titan. So if you're not a Striker Titan, I wouldn't really pick up this helmet. It's not going to do anything for you at all. But if you are a Striker Titan, I would definitely use this helmet on some of the bigger maps. That Headstrong perk when you're a Striker Titan is really devastating on some of the bigger maps. And it allows you to use your Striker from very far distances that you wouldn't be able to use without this helmet. Or without that perk selected on your skill tree. So I would definitely pick this helmet up in certain situations and on certain maps. It's pretty amazing. So it definitely just kind of depends. And hopefully we will see that in the Xur shops this weekend. So for the Hunters this weekend, I think you guys are going to be getting the Kefri Sting. Now just like for the Strikers in the Titan class, I wouldn't pick these gauntlets up unless you're a Blade Dancer. It's the only way that they're really going to help you. Now one cool perk is that you can crouch to become invisible, which is pretty dope. And a backstab will actually do four times the original amount of damage allotted from the Blade Dancer class. So with these gauntlets equipped, the four times extra backstab damage is extremely helpful. Now it's more for PvE when the four times damage is activated with the backstab. But regardless, it will save you a skill tree perk when you're on your Blade Dancer, if you do want to use it in PvP as well. Now, although I don't use these all that often, if you don't have these yet, I would definitely pick them up and at least give them a shot. Now, the Crouch to Go Invisible perk is actually pretty useful, especially in PvP if you use it correctly, so definitely just pick them up if you don't have them. And they're definitely a pretty fun piece to use, even if you're just trying to look for a piece of gear to use, so they're definitely something worth picking up this week if Zer sells them. So finally, with not, last but not least, we do have the Warlock class. Now, like I said before, we still are missing two pieces of gear from you guys. You have got the Transverse Steps with the Rise of Iron, but you still have not received the Ophidian Aspects or your shot at getting Astrocyte Burst. So those are still two exotic pieces of gear that Zer has not sold since the Rise of Iron has come out that we're still definitely waiting on. I would definitely rather see the Ophidian Aspects way before I would see the Ast Astrocyte Burst in Zer's shop. The Astrocyte Burst I thought was cool and it definitely is one of the best looking exotics in Destiny right now. But as far as the perks are concerned, the extra blink time isn't even actually that worth it. And I was testing it out one of the other days and it didn't really make much of a difference at all. So until that helmet receives some sort of a buff, it, if it ever does, I won't really be using it all that often. And I would definitely rather see the gauntlets sold by Zer way way before the helmet so this time around I hopefully you guys are going to be getting these gauntlets here pretty soon I don't really know why they're taking so long to bring them but hopefully you do receive them soon if not this weekend and to wrap things up I'm going to give you guys my final prediction of the week the weapon prediction now before we get into the weapon prediction guys be sure to drop your predictions down in the comments below and let me know what you think Zer is going to sell this weekend or really rather what you would want him to sell if you could choose so for my prediction this week, guys, I think he's going to be selling the Universal Remote. It's up to you guys whether or not you would pick that up. It did receive quite a bit of a nerf, and it's not the same gun as it used to be not too long ago. So definitely consider that before spending your Strange Coins on the Universal Remote. So hopefully I did end up getting some of these predictions right for this week's episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel and like what you saw today, also be sure to click that subscribe button. I do these every single week, and I do try to get you guys involved with the predictions as well, with the comments and everything. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some live trials of Osiris. Peace. Charging the spot.